Hey Leo, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of Ada Tarot. My name is Kianti and I'm going to bring you guys a love reading for February 2020. Again, this message is going to be for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Leo, this is energy, so this could be you or your person. This could be happening right now. It could be getting ready to happen or it could be happening in the future, okay? I uh, do offer personals and if you're interested in booking me, my email information is in the description box below. And if the message resonates for you, my lions, can you please throw me a like, a comment, subscribe, or share? Again, guys, guys, this is energy, so all messages won't fit for everyone. And this could be you or your person. This could be involving family. This could be involving work. This could be involving love. It is intended for love, but it could resonate in other areas, okay? All right, my beautiful lions. Let's see what messages we have for spirit for, from spirit for you. Spirit, can you give me messages for Leo's, the lion spirit? What messages do you have for the lion spirit? Give me messages for the lion spirit. The world, the knight of swords. Okay, so you may have cut something off. There could be an ending. You could have had to speak some harsh words to someone. Okay, there could be something about traveling. Someone could be on the other side of the world from you. You could have cut off someone or something that you saw as your world. Oh, the emperor. This definitely could be dealing with an authority figure, an Aries, a Taurus, or a Libra, maybe. You have the Knight of Swords here. So you, I have a lot of, I have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Taurus, or Libra here. One more for Leo. The Empress. There you go. Okay, and I have a divine couple here. Wow, Leo, what you got going on here? I have the Empress here. I have the divine masculine, divine energy here on the board. Okay, there could have been some harsh words being spoken. There could have been some sort of ending. Wow, Leo. Okay, and you have three major arcanas out here. The chariot could be dealing with the cancer. Yeah, it looks like something is ending and somebody's moving or getting the hell out of Dodge. Give me more for Leo. Give me one more for Leo, spirit. Make this plain. What do you have for my lions? I have cancer energy here. I have Aries, Taurus. The nine, the, nine, the nine of Wands. Here's your energy. Aries, Leo, Sash. The bottom of the deck is two of Pentacles. Okay? This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is about a decision. Someone could have been juggling a decision. Could have been juggling financial resources or um juggling a or, or, or juggling something. Okay? Because the two of Pentacles is about juggling or about a decision. Okay? And this could definitely have something to do with your long-term stability here, Leo. But let's go ahead and get into this. The first card we got the, is the world. Okay? This is definitely speaking to an ending. Okay? Someone could be on the other side of the world to you. There could be something about a lesson being learned in this. Someone could be getting ready to travel to you because I have another card of travel. But let's see what we get for this, Leo. Okay. Next, I have the Knight of Swords. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Okay. But this is communication. Fast communication. Could be harsh communication. Could be impulsive communication. But this is cutting information. It is the truth. The communication. It is the truth. But someone could definitely be cutting something off. And next, I have the Emperor. This is Aries, Taurus, or Libra energy. I, this is this is divine masculine energy, but there is something about an authority figure here. Someone could be a boss or a business owner. Someone could be being very stubborn, okay? But there is something about an authority figure here, an emperor, okay? And and next I have the empress. And Leo, put yourself where you go in this. I'm not exactly sure because I have divine masculine, divine feminine energy here, okay? But she's abundant. She's for two, she's fertile. She's fortuitous. Okay. She has a green thumb. This is the mother of this is the queen of all queens, the Empress. And this could definitely be you. Okay, Leo. And next I have the chariot, which is Cancerian energy. But this is something about taking control, okay? Uh being triumphant over something. Someone is ending something and being triumphant. This could also speak to traveling and moving. Okay. Maybe 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 you maybe someone has been juggling a decision to um to, to unite maybe you guys are on the other side of the world and someone's deciding to do it but this is about taking control of something and, and movement and being triumphant and next i have the nine of wands which is your energy aries leo sag but this is about a wounded warrior this is about somebody being tired and guarded this is about somebody standing their ground okay they said what they meant they meant what they said and they're tired and they're guarded about something okay mm. all right leo this is very interesting you got Four major arcanas here out of six cards. So there is something definite. There is a major shift or something that happening right now, right now with you, with a divine counterpart. This could definitely be work related. You, you may, maybe you're having to travel from work. Okay, maybe maybe you're receiving information from an employer that you're going to have to travel. Maybe you're leaving an employer. 
because you're tired and you're getting ready to go to something else that's more more abundant but let's see what i get here for you for the world why is the world here for leo the eight of pentacles you could be dealing with the taurus virgo capricorn the king of cups you could be dealing with the cancer scorpio pisces here but there is something about an ending here you may be Leo, you may be tired of working on something. Something may have been taking too much effort or too much work. And so you're ending it with someone uh, with a King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or someone may have been hiding their feelings. And now that's coming to an end and they want to work on something with you. Here's that Wheel of Fortune, the Sun. There you go, the Six of Cups. A past love, a past soulmate could definitely be wanting to work on something with you after some sort of ending, okay? Give me one of Knight of Swords for Leo. Why is the Knight of Swords? Okay, so here you go. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Two of Pentacles. So, so, and the Three of Wands. So here, so here, here <laughs> so here's what I'm seeing, Leo. There's been some sort of communication, some harsh communication. It could definitely have came from you. I'm just going to say you because I have you here, but flip it and make it go where it goes. There's some sort of fast, harsh communication. Okay, the Two of Pentacles. There was something about a decision. Or something about juggling. It could have been something about someone juggling money. Or you feeling like someone juggling was juggling you. And you called it quits. And now you're manifesting three of wands. And you're waiting on your ships to come in. You're out exploring for something better. The three of swords is under here. Yeah. So listen. This could, this could definitely be something about a third party situation. Okay. Make this fit where this fits. Okay. I definitely see there was some sort of heartbreak or betrayal. This could not. This does not necessarily have to be relationship. But you're feeling heartbroken and betrayed and backstabbed by something. And you're tired. And it looks like you may have cut this off because it was too much effort or there wasn't enough work being put into it. Okay. Give me more on the emperor. Why is the emperor here for Leo? The hangman and the empress. Ooh, -wee. okay. And there's a queen of cups at the bottom of my deck. Okay. So there's an emperor here, right? And now I have the divine counterpart again, emperor and empress, right? And between this emperor and the empress is the hangman, something, this Pisces energy here, okay? But it, you may not necessarily be dealing with the Pisces, but there's something about something being stuck here, okay? At the bottom of my deck, I have a queen of cups, so it definitely could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces involved in this somewhere. But there's something about a divine couple and something that's, there's something about an emperor and an empress, and there's something that's being stuck here. It looks like you may have cut cut something off because there was something stuck in a, in a, in a union or a partnership, there's a lot of love in this union and partnership, but there's an ending. Ten of Swords. There's there's a, there, there's some sort of truth that's going to be spoken. Okay? There's some sort of justice coming in this situation. Give me more on this Empress. Eight of Cups. So here you are, Leo, which I suspect you're the Empress here. But here you go walking away. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay? Walking away into something more further and abundant. Wheel of Fortune. Walking away into your destiny. Okay? The sun, yep, there you go. And there is something about a past soulmate here, a six of cups, someone from the past, but it looks like you may be moving on from someone from the past. Why is the chariot here for Leo? Why is the chariot here for Leo? Why is the chariot here for Leo? It looks like something may have been stuck with a divine counterpart, and that's forcing you to walk away. Temperance could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but there's something about healing, patience, and divine timing. You're 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 balancing out your head and your heart, and you're getting the hell out of there. Two of Wands, you're taking a different direction. There's something about a decision that may have, that was needed to be made or may not have been made. It looks like you may have decided to make it on your own, Leo. Nine of Swords. There's a lot of stress involved in this. Page of Pentacles. Children could be involved in this. There definitely could be something legal going on here. This could be a legal divorce or a situation. Someone could be waiting for a judgment. Wow. Okay, give me more on this nine of wands for Leo. The eight of wands want to pop out. So there's going to be communication about this. Give me more on the, eight of, the nine of wands for Leo. This is your energy. And I believe this is something, page of pentacles. Definitely could be dealing with something with a child. Judgment. Give me one more for the nine of wands. I, de I definitely think, Leo, you're getting ready to plan and plot and strategize your own stability. This is happening in the baby phases, but you're, 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 you may be looking over paperwork. You may be hmm, ten of pentacles. Yep. And the devil's at the bottom of my deck. You could be dealing with the Capricorn here. Okay. But there's something about a family situation. There could be something toxic and codependent in it. A Capricorn could be involved, but somebody's getting ready to block this out because they're tired. Okay. Someone is tired. Someone's getting ready to plan and plot their um their stability and their abundance. 
they're, 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 they're doing this because they're tired. They're getting ready to go. They're, they're, they're tired of a situation. It could be a situation involving a family. Okay. Your home, a job, a business, but there is something about some, there is something about you being tired of a situation that's, that's going on. As far, it could be your home or your job. Definitely could be involved in children. But there is a divine union here. But it was stuck. And so someone is making a decision to end it. And it looks like someone is getting ready to put in work on themselves or on a work. Put in work on, into something else. Someone is moving right along here, Leo. And that's just how I see it, okay? But this is what I got for you guys in love for February 2020. If the messages resonate, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, I do offer personals. And if you're interested in booking me, my email information is in the description box below. If this is where we part ways, Leo, I wish you love, light, peace, and clarity till I bring you messages again. Take care of my beautiful lions. Bye-bye.